Caliburn Yearn, Caliburn Yearn, Caliburn Yearn, Caliburn Yearn. <clears throat> All right, well, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me. You know, I I've been on board with the Caliburn since day one. I got this thing in the mail and started using it right away and, and literally thought to myself, this is it. Like, this is the last pod system I may ever need to use. The quality, the quality of vape from this Caliburn pod is what I thought until recently unmatched, unmatched high quality mouth to lung vape. And then you well releases this little guy right here, pre-filled pods only. It's a little bit smaller. It's a little bit smaller of a battery. It's like 520 here compared to 370 ma here. It's a little smaller than the Caliburn. It's a little bit heavier than the Caliburn. And it's a little bit, I don't know, cooler. It, lo it looks a little more slick maybe be a little bit more techy and like I said weightier it feels weightier in the hand than the Caliburn and as far as the quality of vape that you're gonna get from this yearn versus the Caliburn oh man I genuinely can't believe I'm saying this it, it's better it's 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 a little bit better if the Caliburn is like up here on the arbitrary mouth to lung enjoyment scale then the UL yearn is gonna be just kind of hovering maybe even a little higher maybe like up here and I know this is a really weird, weird, weird thing to say, but I feel like the urine almost vapes too good. It's too good of a vape. It's just rich, intensely satisfying. I have never had a pod battery that's this quick and responsive. It's an auto switch, but when you take a drag on it, it, it fires right away. Instant warmth, instant flavor. There's just no way around it. The vape is so good. Like I said, it's almost too good. It's almost too perfect. I mean, as it stands right now, there's not a pod system I have in my big old cup of pods that I am enjoying more than this yearn right now. This is the ice mint flavor, which is actually pretty nice. The mango and the Fuji apple are out of control good. And my favorite, the vanilla tobacco is, is beautiful. It's a beautiful tobacco flavor. Now, if we're gonna compare these two pod systems together, it's a little bit of an apples and oranges situation together, right? So the Caliburn has, like I said, a bigger battery life in it. 520 compared to 370. They both have a 2 ml liquid capacity. The Caliburn is refillable. You're not stuck to just the salt nick. The urine comes in a 50 milligram pods and 20 milligram pods, four flavors only. The Caliburn pods come empty and you can put whatever liquid that you want in there. Me personally, 12 milligram all day long. This would be very satisfying with a six. This might even be real satisfying with a three. Fit and finish wise, the urine, it's a little bit nicer than the Caliburn. It all kind of fits together real well. Like I said, feels weightier, feels heavier, feels a little bit more slick, a little bit more techy than the Caliburn. And like I said earlier, the quality of vape from the Yearn is just, it's just that little bit extra. It's just that little bit more warmth, little bit more flavor. The battery just responds so quickly. So when you open a brand new yearn pod, this is what it's gonna look like. And there's one thing that you're gonna have to do. UL tells you to attach it to your battery and let it sit for about 10 minutes. And that is 100% true. That's exactly what you need to do. And I'm gonna try to show you this, but when you attach it to your battery for the first time, this little plunger is kind of gonna go up. You see, I press that up. And when you press that up now, you can kind of start seeing bubbles happening. Lots of bubbles happening. That's what you do. You just kind of press that up. Your battery will do it. You're gonna start seeing bubbles happening. That means the liquid's getting to where it needs to go. If you pop this pod onto your battery and you don't see any bubbles happening, do not vape it. Don't, it's dry on the inside. That means it's dry on the inside. There's been a few times where I've taken pods and I've attached them to this battery and it's pressed up that plunger and no bubbles have happened and I didn't realize it and I took a big drag and I just got horrible burn burnt death, cotton, acrid death in my mouth. Which if anybody's done that, you know you only need to do it once before you learn your lesson. It's supposed to work that way, but it doesn't always work that way. So sometimes what I've needed to do is take the pod back out, cover up as many air flows as I possibly can, and kind of do one of these. 
You want to see bubbles happening. You have to see bubbles happening. You must see bubbles happening. Plenty, plenty of bubbles happening. So now with confidence, I can snap this on here and it doesn't snap in any like, uh, you know, real satisfying way. The Caliburn has kind of this magnetic situation going on. This is not magnetic, it's pressure fit and it's not a real satisfying snap, but it does stay down there. Now, after all of that with the bubbles, you're free to vape. It, it's good. Like I said, it's almost too good. The vape from this UL Yearn is the best pod system vape that I've vaped ever. And if I had to choose between one of these UL Yearn Caliburn, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of prefilleds, but I see their purpose and I use them pretty frequently. If I was looking at it from purely a vape quality standpoint and I wanted to pick the best vape quality between both of these, it would be the urine. If there are other factors at play like versatility and I want to use my own liquid and I want to have maybe a little bit bigger of a battery, Caliburn. Ultimately, what this is going to come down to is personal preference for you. If you want to use your own liquids, the Caliburn is the way to go. If you don't mind using 50 milligram or 20 milligram pre-filled pods, the urine is the way to go, regardless of which one you choose, or maybe neither. But regardless of which one you choose, you're going to have a rockin', rockin' vape. I have never had a bad vape from the Caliburn, and with the exception of the few dry pods I got, I have not had a bad vape from the urine. Now, if we're gonna get down to brass tacks here, these are basically the same price. The Caliburn battery, about 20 bucks. The UL urine battery, about 20 bucks. The urine replacement pods are where they kind of really get you. A two pack of pods is about $9, and, and that's just for a two pack of pods for $9. Two pre-filled pods for $9. Or you can get four unfilled Caliburn pods for the same price. And ultimately, I think it's going to be up to you to decide pre-filled, smaller, non-pre-filled, bigger, little less expensive on the pods, a little more expensive on the pods. It's tough. I mean, if we were gonna play the Aliens game and I only had to choose one of these, that would, I don't want, nope, I don't want to, I don't want to choose just one. I believe in my heart of hearts, I would truly and honestly need both of these pod systems. I, ca I can't choose one over the other. How do you choose one over the the other. Come on. They each have their own merit. They each have their own value and they each are going to give you really, I mean, spectacular vapes, spectacular vapes. Okay, you guys, that is far, far too much rambling from me. Links are not allowed in the description. So you're going to have to use your Google food, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. And no matter what's in your hand, caliber and urine, caliber and urine, caliber and urine, no matter what's in your hand, you guys, let's just keep on vaping. Double toot.